All right, Dad. So we're going to finally figure this whole thing out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get an add-on called Add-on Installer. So if you go to Google and you search Add-on Installer Kodi, you're going to want to select the third one down, How to Install Add-on Installer on Kodi. All right, so that's going to take you to a page. And if you scroll down a little bit, there's going to be a link that will tell you where to go in order to find the uh, list of add-ons. So that's just, you click that link and it'll take you to it. Obviously click the most updated recent one on the bottom. Download that file. Save it somewhere where you're going to be able to find it. Alright. Now you're want, going to want to go over to Kodi. You're going to go to System Settings. You're going to click on Add-ons. And then Install from Zip File. Now go to the wherever you just downloaded that add-on dot um, oh, what is it zip file I already downloaded it once so there's I have two copies of it but it's the plugin dot program add-on installer just double click it and it automatically installs it you see the thing on the bottom right it says add-on enabled that tells you it's successfully installed now Cody has it and it's ready to use it's a program so it's going to be in the programs tab and that's it right there add-on installer with this this is like another version of the other of the regular program, but this has a lot more programs on it. So type in Genesis, G-E-N-E-S-I-S. -E -S. This is going to be for your TV shows that you want. Genesis is the best is the best video program I found so far for every TV show and every movie. So install Genesis straight from the application. It takes some time. I'll fast forward through how long it takes. All right. Fast forward through this part. All right, it's been installed. Now you're ready to start using Genesis. All right, now go to video. When you click on add-ons, that's the applications. These are all the video apps I have. Um, go ahead and go to Genesis, and we're going to show you how to find your shows. So. Everything that you save, I'm going to show you how to do it, but it'll show up in your favorite movies. or If it's a TV show, it'll automatically come there. So I only have two right now. So let's go find some shows for you. So you're going to go to search, search TV shows, and let's go ahead and look for Daily Show. There it is. Click it. And go ahead and add that to your favorites to add it to your list. All right, let's search for another show. Let's go ahead and find uh, Real Time with Bill, Ma or Bill Maher. All right, search for that. There it is. We'll add that to our favorites also. And then now we're going to go ahead. Let's try to find something a bit older just to show you what this has. So for MASH. There you go, there's MASH. Let's add that to our favorites also. All right, now if you want to see all your favorites, go to My Genesis, My Favorite TV, and there you go. All the three shows we just added are here. So let's go ahead and watch the most recent episode of The Daily Show. It has everything starting from the very first season. Scroll down, season 20. So it has the Judd Apatow one, which is actually going to air tonight. They already have it on the list, but there's no, it hasn't aired yet, so there's no streams to be had. So you see right here, no streams available. So the most recent one is actually the Mark Ruffalo episode. So let's see what happens there. There you go. You can see that they're all standard definition, and it has a list of where they're from. So if you get one and the link doesn't work, just click the next one down the list. Let's start the very, well, actually, I'm not going to load it up because it's going so slow because I'm recording. Now you can look for movies in here if you want. So I'm going to show you another one of my apps that I like. Uh, one Channel is one that I use a lot also. That has a really good selection of everything and a cool setting. But One Channel is pretty much the same as Genesis. But Genesis will tell you if it's high definition, standard definition, 1080p or what. And then Phoenix. This is the first one you downloaded. So Phoenix, 
don't use Phoenix TV. Just don't even click on that. There's no point of it. It sucks. It doesn't work very well. All these other ones are basically playlists. For whatever reason, they chose these six users as good to have playlists. You can see this guy has his playlist set, separated into different things. So whatever you're in the mood for, if you're in the mood for sci-fi or adventure, let's say you want to watch a war flick. So I'm going to click on war. And then this is just the selection that he's chosen. It's clearly not all-inclusive, but if you can look through the war movies when you're just trying to browse for something to put on. Then there's rock concerts. If you want to watch, if you feel in the mood to watch ACDC or The Beatles or something like that, they have concerts. Alright. So that's pretty much Phoenix. The only, Phoenix is just good for playlists if you have company and you want, or you're just looking for something to watch. These are all video add-ons that I downloaded. Some of them are whack, but the ones that, that you should really care about are Phoenix. Oh, US TV Now. This is a way that you can watch live TV. For free, you can only get six ch or seven channels. If you want to pay $10 a month, you get access to like 24 channels. And they're actually good channels. It's not no bullshit. But US TV Now is where you watch live TV. Um, uh, so let's check out Genesis one more time. I just want to show you. I want to show you how you can make it easily accessible. So if you right-click that and click Add Favorites, this will take that this link from the application itself, and it'll actually make it a favorite in Cody the Cody program. So you click Add Favorites, add it to your list, and then down in the bottom left is your Favorites tab. This is all the link, the things that I like to make it more organized and streamlined. So if you go to the bottom, that's the one we just added. Oh, TV show. If you want to search for a TV show or you're trying to find something, I have that added as one of my favorites. You can make any link on here, anything you can click on, you can turn it into one of Cody's favorites. Um, so down here with favorite TV, that's the one we just made. We can rename it to make it easier so you, you know what you're looking for. So that list that we made earlier, let's just call this Genesis Shows for Brian. Done. Go ahead and click on that. There you go. Those are the shows we added earlier. So now, from this point forward, anytime you turn you turn on the Cody program, you have access. You just click favorites, click on my shows, and you have access to all of your shows right there. Okay. There's a few other programs. I just want to music. If you're wanting to get music stuff, um, concert archive is pretty good. It just has a list of all sorts of concerts. They are kind of hard to find concerts that aren't blocked by YouTube. MP3 streams is another good one. That's if you want to listen to you just want to listen to music and you can look for a specific song, specific artists, and everyone every single song that I've tested is on here. It's a little slow, but I think that's kind of the point of getting that box because the box is better than your laptop or your computer. But even still, it's kind of it's slower than movies. But yeah, every album that the Beatles ever did is on here. You just click the album. You can pick specific songs or play the whole album itself. So click add-ons again. Go back to your applications. So this is, I want to show you one more application. It's called Navi X. Navi X is kind of neat because it just has a bunch of random streams. Um, links that people make. So if you go to the um, go down to the Navi X most recently updated, it has a list. These are just you can look at the names of them, and they're all just streams or lists of streams that people have created. All the Planet of the Apes movies. Um, Hammy 40 is a really good one for live TV. Um, this one here is now in cinema. Any movie that's out in theaters, you can come here and you can check this out. If you know if you're willing to watch a cam version of it, you can make favorites in Navi X also. Come on here and add item to favorites. If you want to make it a little, you rename it to make it a little clearer for you when you're looking at it later. But just if you're ever, if a movie ever comes out in theaters and, you, and you're like, hey, I want to watch that, you can just go to your Navi X program, click on my favorites, and you click now in cinemas, and it'll most likely be in that list. Again, the, the other app probably has those movies also, but this is uh, just a little bit more streamlined. And then you can make Navi X one of the Cody favorites. And then you have it on your favorites at the very bottom. Navi X. So once you get it all configured and set up, it just becomes very, very easy and effective. You're welcome.